Well, good morning, Interbit fans. Good morning, Interbit fans, and welcome to the preview for Gravel. We're on the Polytrack Monday, 7th of November, and a um, uh, very, very difficult eight-race program, as usual, with the Polytrack. Let's try and dissect it and work our way through it. First race is off at 12.40, and it's a maiden plate over 1,200 meters, and here... You've got to like Ice Kingdom chances. Laps runner looks like he's got to go very, very well here. Danger could be Hunter's Arrow, uh, number five. Uh, Richard Faree's right for um, Dougie Campbell. And he did us a big favor yesterday getting Mona at home. So uh, very pleased with uh, young Faree at this stage. And um, I think Hunter's Arrow is going to run very, very well. Have a close look at Louis Horson's runner number two, Mask On, when they canter down. This also showed improvement and might just be the right horse in this race at a big price of five or six to one. So um, if there's any support for him, you could be with him. Race uh, two, this is a maiden plate and they go 1,200 meters and I made it a two-corner contest. Um, McCarty, fantastic first run, should go very, very, very close and he looks like the right horse. But Moon Harvest, Richard Faree rides this front for Dougie Campbell. He looks like he's been improving and I expect him to go very well here. King Spear for minor money with Lord Edward, who improved quite a lot last time. And you know, some of Mace Roberts' horses take a bit of time to get the hang of it, and this horse looks like a big improver. Race three, Maiden Handicap. Yeah, beautiful things. Uh, these handicaps, absolute nightmare. But 1,200 meters, all they've got to go. And stealth attack in a normal Maiden plate would be an absolute penalty kick. But uh, Alison Wright decided that she's going to run it in a Maiden Handicap, which means she's got to give um, seven and a half kilos to County Kildare. There's not much between these two at level weights. So have a close look at County Kildare from the um, Wendy Whitehead stable. Could go well here. I think Whispering Green gets um, the five, uh, the, the weight difference in the merit rating and the four kilogram claim. So he's got a big chance as well of turning it around with uh, Stealth Attack. But Stealth Attack does look hard to beat. Honey Lad, look for improvement from this one too. So I'd put all four of those in the first leg of your pick six. Race four, Maiden Plate, 1400 meters. Uh, McCartney looks exactly the right horse from the Riverland outfit, but it is second run after rest. He is eight to 10 and therefore is vulnerable. And the horse that might just turn him over is number seven, Double Silver. So I think he's a runner in this race. Royal Point, Raptor Island, both look like improvers and could go well. Race five. There's a merry rated handicap. They go 1,400 meters. Diani, Dennis Bosch's runner. Samanga Kamala has ridden at the last twice, won on at the last twice. And I think this horse is perfectly placed and probably go in again. Dangers could be General Hancock, um, the DeMello ride. That's number seven and French Final Destiny. Number six has got four. Look for exceed expectations to improve, but uh, the Annie's got, looks like got this race absolutely so. Race six, um, merit rated handicap, 1,400 meters. And uh, I'm going with number three as a good each way bet quest for the best. This has been running on a lot, and I expect it to go very, very well here. But this is a very difficult race. Cape Town Affair, Dennis Bosch is in fine form. He's a very good trainer. And uh, Cape Town Affair will go well here. High Velocity, definitely got a chance. Five Moving Magic, got good form. Six Arrows Mark, some form shown his best there. And then one and two, both will go in. So for me, this is probably a field race. Race seven, uh, there's a merit rated handicap, 1,200 meters. Just a guy thing, gets fitted with the blinkers, and I think this might make a difference. Gets to Mello, he's fast. He'll probably get over and be able to dictate. If he doesn't go too strong uh, in the early part, he could be the right horse. But Stanley Park uh, is only a three-year-old. He's come down, his last two runs have dropped him uh, two points in the merit rating, um, which means that uh, that's going to help. And he's got some abilities, eight to one. Expect him to go well. One purple operator, five metallic gold, both come into the race for some sort of chance. Eighth race, merit rated fillies and mares, 1,200 meters. 
Uh, have a close look at retail therapy with a four kilogram claim. Um, and she, <coughs> excuse me. He'll run well. She'll run well. She loves this course and distance. She's she's won four times on the course, and, um, and that shows that she really goes very very well on this type of track. Uh, so what else is there? Cassius Blossom got good form. Dropped two again last time. Will be there or thereabouts. Corner Crusade. Um, well suited to Richard Fourri, and um, he. I think will be, or she will be definitely in the shake-up. Sorry, I'm just trying to find my notes here. Uh, Stingray might be an improver as well, but uh, this is quite an open race. But I think two and four might end up being the right two. So from me, James Goodman, and the whole Interbet team, you have a great day's racing at Grey